how to do the side swing crossover. Coming up. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Gerardo from Elevate, bringing you the best tips and tricks to get you skipping like a boss. On this channel, I feature a lot of jump rope tutorials, motivation and also routines. So if you're new out here, consider subscribing and also ring the bell to make sure you don't miss a thing. In today's video, we're going to cover the side swing crossover. A great technique if you've just started out jumping rope or if you're an advanced jumper already and you're looking to smoothen out this technique some more. Make sure to watch this video to the end, as in the end I'll be featuring three variations which you can implement right away after you've mastered the side swing crossover. Also, if you're still looking for a good jump rope... Oh wait, I uh... One second. Yeah, sorry about that, I just forgot to grab my jump rope before recording this video. So, if you're still looking for a good jump rope, navigate to elevaterope.com and use coupon ELEVATE10 to get a 10% discount on your next order. Now without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. Hey, what's going on guys? As in all my beginner tutorials, we quickly go over the basics first. To start off, make sure your rope has the right length. I suggest standing with one foot on your rope and have the handles reach nipple level or below. Next off, keep your elbows tucked in and swing the rope with your wrist and forearms rather than trying to use the full length of your arms and shoulder to get the rope around your body. This will allow for a cleaner skipping technique and gives you the possibility to jump with a shorter rope. Also, make sure to keep your wrist at the level of your hip bones and try to keep them just in front of them. Lastly, when jumping, you want to make sure you're jumping on the balls of your feet. When switching up your jump variations, jumping on the balls of your feet will make you most agile and gives you the possibility to adjust swiftly. Also, failing to do this will put a lot of pressure on your joints, causing injuries in the long run. Also, when you take a closer look, you can see that I'm jumping no more than 2 to 4 centimeters off the ground. This will help you to reduce the impact your jumping has on your joints and thus to keep those injuries away. Now for the second step, we're going to discuss the mechanics of the side swing crossover. The name says a lot about the mechanics of this move. Basically, what we're doing is transitioning from a regular side swing into a crossover. In order to do that, I want you to side swing over to your dominant side. If you're not sure about side swings or what your dominant side is, I'll link up a side swing tutorial on the top right of this video for you to check out. In the video, you can see that my dominant side is my right side. When swinging to my dominant side, this means my right hand is on top of my left hand. When transitioning from the side swing into the crossover, what you want to do is cross over your dominant hand over to your non-dominant side my left side in the video, while keeping your other hand fixed in place. This will allow for the crossover to happen. Now try to do this a few times slowly to get the mechanics right. Try to catch the rope with a toe catch to make sure the rope's in the right place for you to jump over it in the next step. Okay, enough drilling for technique, time to have some fun. 
we're going to nail our very first side swing crossover here. Same steps as in the toe catch phrase, but this time you don't catch the rope but jump over it. After you've jumped over it, you uncross the rope by quickly opening up your wrist to point outwards to get back into normal jumping position. Do this for at least 10 times before progressing to the next step. Hey, way to go! Now we're going to alternate sides. This might be a little bit challenging because performing a move on your non-dominant side is usually twice as hard than doing it on your dominant side. However, try to start slow and you'll get it. Once you get out of the first crossover, instead of uncrossing the rope by quickly opening up your wrist and pointing your handles outwards, you'll want to transition into a side swing on the other side and cross over with your other hand on top just like you did on your dominant side. You will trip, don't worry about it. Take it slow and you'll get it. Now for the footwork, I like to alternate knee raises. If I don't do this, this move just feels super awkward and I trip over my rope more frequently. Why? Because keeping your feet next to each other gives the rope a wider range to get tangled on. That's why when I side swing cross from right to left, I lift up my left knee. Then when I side swing cross from left to right, I lift up my right knee. It feels good, it looks better and you'll trip less. Now I have a few rookie mistakes, which I did a lot when just learning this move. You don't want to be making these if you want to learn it fast and make it look super smooth. First off, don't keep your hands too wide. You need to travel a bigger distance for your transitions to happen and it looks horrible. Next off, make sure your timing is right. Don't try to go too fast or too slow. Find your rhythm and let your body align with that. Thirdly, Keep the hand that's not crossing fixed in place. Only move your wrist, not your hand placement. Super important. This is one of the key principles of not tripping when performing your side swing crossovers. Time for the best part of this tutorial. I'm going to show you some killer combos you can implement right away after learning the side swing crossover. For starters, the EB side swing crossover or the EB side cross. It's basically an EB and a side swing crossover linked together in one slick combo. For an in-depth breakdown of this move, I'll link up a tutorial for it on the top right of this video. Secondly, the arm wrap crossover. Another great skill to implement directly into your arsenal. Thirdly, the mic release into a side swing cross. I'll go ahead and link up a slow motion version of this move also on the top right of this video. Now that's all guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, like this video, leave a comment in the comment section below, share it with your friends, and I would also love to know what kind of video, what kind of tutorial, maybe what kind of challenge you would want me to feature in one of the upcoming videos. Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one.